Did you know that you can play any PC game wirelessly on the Oculus Quest VR headset? Yep, all you need is a totally free application for your Oculus Quest that will stream your games from your gaming PC or laptop directly through your home Wi-Fi into the Quest with minimal latency and a very high quality and resolution. Play games like Fortnite, Battlefield, Player Unknown Battlegrounds or simply any game that you have on your PC directly on a huge screen in VR using the Oculus Quest. And the best thing of all, the application that makes it possible is totally free. Just download, install and play. Forget about paid applications like Virtual Desktop, this application gives you everything for free with a better frame rate and also with more impressive image quality. Does it sound interesting to you? Good! But before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and as always a big thanks to all my lovely Patreon supporters and a special thanks to my official sponsors on Patreon, Commander Darklight, Art Armin and VR Ambassador. So yes, you can play every single PC game you have on your gaming rig or your laptop on a huge screen in VR with your Oculus Quest. And yes, the quality is outstanding because the application is using the Nvidia GameStream technology with up to 60 frames per second and resolutions up to 4K. Using a 5GHz Wi-Fi connection will give you outstanding image quality with minimal latency and no visible compression. And that's because the Oculus Quest application is receiving a real-time video stream directly from the NVIDIA GeForce Experience game stream. It works basically like using the NVIDIA Shield box. Games like Fortnite or PUBG are fully playable even if the frame rate is a maximum 60 frames per second of course, and simulators look gorgeous with high resolution thanks to the high definition panels on the Oculus Quest. The cockpits are fully detailed and readable in flight simulators as well as the dashboards in the racing simulators, and the sharp image makes even small text and heads up displays easy to read in VR. I have tested nearly 10 different PC games today on my Quest and they all work great. You can enlarge the game image in your Oculus Quest to any size preferred and you can either play in a cinema room or just in a black space with the game in front of you. If the game also support a side-by-side -side 3D stereoscopic rendering, you can run the game in 3D and turn on the side-by-side -side mode and get full 3D depth in your games. And as I mentioned before, you can play your game in different resolutions such as 1080p with 30 and 60 frames per second as well as 4K resolution in 30 and 60 frames per second. Also, you have built-in optional mouse support which you can control with your head and the Oculus Quest controllers. Another cool thing is that you can use this application for virtual desktop. Simply look and interact with your Windows PC desktop inside of VR on your Oculus Quest. Just like you can do with the paid application called Virtual Desktop but here you do it for free of course. You can also run emulators like the CMU emulator with the Wii U games such as the Zelda Breath of the Wild which looks amazing on a big screen in VR. Anyway, the application I'm talking about is called Moonlight Player. It's not an official Oculus Quest application and in fact the version I've tested is made for the Oculus Go in the first place but it works exactly the same way on the Oculus Quest. What this application does is that it's simply wirelessly receiving a live streamed high definition game image straight from your PC thanks to the Nvidia GameStream, which also is free of course and included in the GeForce Experience software. So what you need here is a GeForce graphic card that supports Nvidia GameStream, which is basically every graphic card from Nvidia from the old GTX 650 and onwards. Also all Nvidia laptop graphic cards starting from GTX 600M are supported. And if you have any of these supported graphic cards or maybe a laptop with a supported graphic card, why not just give this a try on your new Oculus Quest? You will be amazed how good it works. Now before I show you how to get this running, I must give you some heads up. There is one single problem here, which for the majority of people shouldn't be a problem after all. The Oculus Quest runs in 72Hz, while the Nvidia game stream only can run in up to 60 frames per second, so the game image might get some judders or micro stutters when playing, because the refresh rate and frame rate doesn't really match. But that's basically the only problem here and if you can live with that and you have a fast 5GHz Wi-Fi connection at home that can handle the bandwidth, then you're ready to go. 
So now let me show you how to get this running. First you will need to enable the developer mode on your Oculus Quest. Do it through the Oculus Quest application on your smartphone. It's very simple and takes just a few clicks. Before you can enable developer mode you need to go to this web page while being logging into your Oculus account then register for free as a developer with an organization name and two clicks later you can enable the developer mode without any problems. Next, go to the Reddit page where the Penka Master posted a download link to the Moonlight application. Don't worry, it is a free application and fully legit. Simply download the file into a temporary folder on your PC. Also, I will give you all the links needed in the video description down here below. Now, to be able to install this application on your Oculus Quest, you need to sideload it through your PC. For this purpose, we also need an SDK platform tool. Go to this website and download the Windows version into the same folder as before. When you're done, make sure to connect your Quest headset to your PC with the included USB-C cable and wait until it gets recognized as a device on your PC. Now go to the folder where you put your downloaded files, extract the platform tool zip file and when ready, move the Moonlight application file to that folder you just created when extracting. Go inside of that folder now and it should look like this. Next, hold down your shift key on your keyboard and right click somewhere inside of that folder. You will see an option called Open Windows PowerShell. Click on it and the blue PowerShell will open. Now first type this to see if your Oculus Quest device is connected and authorized. If it shows a serial number and a device then you're ok. But if it shows unauthorized then put on your Oculus Quest again, look inside of it and accept the authorization window that just popped up in front of you. Next type the same again and see if the authorization was successful. If it is, now let's install or sideload the Moonlight application. Type this line and then go back to the folder and copy the application file name including the extension .apk. Go back to the PowerShell window again and right click and it will paste the full name as you see here. When the full line looks like this, just hit enter and the application gets installed in just a few seconds. When it's done and successful, you can just close down these windows and you can also unplug the USB cable from your Oculus Quest, because everything else is done wirelessly of course. Next open up NVIDIA GeForce Experience. If you don't have that installed, just download and install the latest NVIDIA drivers that includes the GeForce Experience application. Now click on the settings icon and then on the shield tab. All you need to do here is to enable game stream mode. If you want you can also import any of your PC games manually so you can start them directly from the Moonlight player inside of your Oculus Quest. But many games get actually imported automatically and you'll see that in a moment. Now put on your Oculus Quest now and start up the Moonlight Player application we just installed. You will find it in the library of apps and it's located under the tab Unknown Sources. Once Moonlight is started, it may or may not automatically find your gaming PC in the same network. If it doesn't, then you need to specify the IP address to your gaming laptop or gaming PC where you have enabled the Nvidia game stream. Once you see the PC appear, just click on it and you will get a 4 digit code. Now look at your PC monitor again and you will see the Nvidia GeForce experience is asking for a code, so just use this code you got from the Moonlight application. Now, put on your Oculus Quest again and you will see that the Moonlight is pairing with your gaming PC. Once the pairing is done, you can just click on the icon of your PC. Now you will see a play button, a configuration icon on the bottom left part and a delete button on the right. But first let's have a look at some of these settings. Here you can change the stream resolution and frame rate. I would recommend you to go with 1080p with 60 frames per second of course. 4K might be a little bit too much for Wi-Fi. but 1080p is easily handled by a proper 5G Wi-Fi network without any lag or noticeable latency. Note that you can also change the game aspect ratio here. In these options you can also enable the head controlled mouse support either with mode gaze, trackpad or off. There are more settings than this in this application but we can only reach them once we have started the game. Now make sure to save your settings and go back to the main screen again. And if you struggle to get back to the main screen, just close the application completely within your Oculus Quest and start it up again and you will end up at the same main screen in just a second. 
Once you're back in the main screen, simply browse through your imported games and click play. Now you can play your game in any way as usual, with a keyboard and mouse, with a gamepad, a joystick, racing wheel or whatever. You can also at any time reset your sitting position while being in game of course, and you can also move your projected image in front of you by looking away from the skin and pressing the trigger button on your Oculus Quest controller and holding it. Now you can simply move the screen to any position you like. Lastly, I will show you a few more settings that are now available. If you look up and press the thumbstick and trigger button, or just kind of like a combination of these two, you will see more options. The first tab is more settings for the built-in head-oriented mouse support for example. In the second tab, you can switch the resolution, the frame rate, the aspect ratio while being in-game. You can also save several profiles with different settings for your favorite games for example. The third options tab lets you change the distance to your screen and also change the size, which not really is visible here while I'm recording this and that's strange because it actually works. Also on the left side you can enable the stereoscopic side 3D mode. In the last option tab you can simply choose again if you want to sit in a cinema room or just in a black space called void with a game image in front of you. Click on any of these options and the settings page will disappear now and you will be instantly back in the game. Now enjoy your favorite PC games on your Oculus Quest and guys believe me you will be surprised how good it looks in VR. And guys let me know what you think of this and give me some feedback in the comments here down below on how it works to play your PC games on the Oculus Quest with this Moonlight Player application. I would love to hear about it. Lastly thanks for watching everyone and make sure to subscribe subscribe for much more videos coming up. A big thanks to all my lovely Patreon supporters and a special thanks to my official sponsors Commander Darklight, Art Armin and VR Ambassador. I'll see you in the next one guys, cheers!